<laughs> Jemmy, <laughs> baby. Hello. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I miss you. I love you. I love you all. Okay, so as I, I've been shuffling and I was thinking, I don't know who I'm doing. And then I heard Gemini and then this popped out. And which is crazy because um, this talks about a new lover. Like, a, and don't be surprised. Like, um, it'll be hot and heavy basically. And, you know, don't be afraid to have more than one option. So me asking, I don't know who I'm doing. Sounds kind of relevant right now. These are peak Gemini activities. Okay, so let's see what we get. So I feel like that's gonna be the theme of this reading. Let's see. <laughs> I feel like you're dealing with a fire sign. You gotta be. Or they have, um, they're just come, they come off this way. Aries. Yeah, some of you have a new, like a full new beginning, new start, new job, new house. There's something, a new project that it will generate money. Libra. Interesting, they're opposites. At the bottom of the deck is, look Look at these colors. I just, so that's how I'm seeing things. Like a 70s movie. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Okay, so definitely, some of you might have to choose between. I said that. Holy shit. Okay. I already said that. That's crazy. Close that. Um, but I feel like you have great sex with more than one person. I hope. <laughs> I hope. I'm thinking that's someone. That's someone. That's not all of you. Or at least one person. But it's like, you have to make a choice. Like, so the time, here we go. Always need to make a choice. And you're like, why I, Why do I have to choose? Can we just... No, take it slow. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Yeah, I just saw the Seven of Cups. <laughs> That's crazy. You're confused. You got options. Somebody, dude, there's competition. There's people who are, like, really wanting you. Because I feel like you've gone through some changes. Like, you're just different now. Like, it's like they're all seeing you differently. Because I kept seeing the world card. Yeah. Um, definitely. I just saw the Ten of Swords in reverse. Okay. Because I kept seeing the world card. And that's like our, um, like, the public stage. Our, how, where we are, where we are. Uh, our work life, career. It's just that. It's public. It's opposite of the fourth house of home. Four of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you're coming out of some sort of healing. You thought about it. You got fresh ideas and new perspectives. Yeah. But you, I feel like you just don't know who you want to give your full attention to. Or what you want to give your full attention to. Yeah, because this is about a commitment. Could be dealing with a Taurus. But then all, um, I also feel like you guys are changing your mind or just altering your perspectives when it comes to relationships, like learning equal give and take, different types of communication, spicing it up in the bedroom, like stuff like that, you know, whatever it is. Yeah, five of swords in a row. Oh, I like, okay, great. I'm like, I like it. I'm here for it. Like if you were out of communication with someone, I feel like that's coming to an end and there will be reciprocity. Okay. That's nice. Cause there's a rebirth. There's, there's something different here. Cause something did die. Like the routine is changing. Yeah, like any type of harsh arguments like and libra is all about the peace why did i almost forget who i was doing again <laughs> listen what the f is going when princess of why did i say it like that princess of pentacles yeah you're definitely this is the start of something new 
this is a fresh start. This can be someone younger than you, but I feel like for some of you, you're making like light commitments. Like, I mean, I can do a little bit over here. I can do a little bit over here, but cause it's like, you still want to be free somehow. That's for some of you. Yeah, with the Nine of Cups at the, whatever works for you. Cause I feel like you guys are just happy now. The hangman, so yeah, you're kinda, there's something about love that I just feel like some of you guys just aren't ready for, or you guys just don't want it right now. I feel like you got other, whoa, did you guys see that? I want to know what that is, but it flipped right back over. So not meant to be. Now I'm curious. The alchemist, cur <laughs> he's curious. You know how to create. Yeah, it's just that, like exactly what I was thinking. Like there was a part of you that had to like come up undone. Or, or something may have happened that kind of pushed you in this direction. I hope you can hear me. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. Did I say, I said that in the beginning, you might be dealing with a um, Taurus or a Capricorn, Virgo. I feel like there's a more nurturing side to you that you've learned and like you're just in a new cycle altogether. You've evolved. But what is this? So I got the hangman. Judgment. So In this card, it talks about that, like layers of yourself, like it can describe that. You see how the, the tones of their bodies change. And this is like more golden, which would be self-explanatory with the paler that they get. It's like they're almost, like some of them are dead. So it's like shedding dead skin, <laughs> like dead parts of yourself. Like you really are. Aries, from Aries to Libra, that's the, the halfway mark. That's the first house, the ruler of the first, and the ruler of the second. Singlehood, being alone, you know, the self. You worried about you. But with Libra, there's relating to others. Partnership, marriage, you know, one-on-one -on -one interaction. This is Mars and Libra, masculine and feminine. Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, did I say Mars and Venus? Okay, I think, I don't remember, whatever. But something is hidden from you too. Like there's something you don't know about it. So maybe this hasn't been revealed to you just yet and you're trying to figure it out. Tell me about the Princess of Pentacles. Ooh, Seven of Swords. I feel like some of you are trying to figure out how, okay, this is some of you, that you're in a, in a situation that you don't really want to like, oh, I hate to break it to you. I want to tell you that news. It's like you're trying to wiggle your way out of something because... It's like, I don't know, this makes me feel like creativity, like you're trying to sneak out. Or, and this can be someone else. But this just seemed like... Also, I feel like this is you trying to move in secrecy, but why are you trying to move in secrecy? But see, that's what it was making me feel like. With the Three of Pentacles... Um, here and the like working together six of wands in reverse not working out it's not victorious not so some of the ace of wands actually tell me the queen of pentacles who does woman the wheel i 
I just heard advancement. Is that a word? Yes, advancement. <laughs> what the hell? Wait, is this her hair? Oh, wow. Why did I never realize that's her hair? That's crazy. Is it a part of the chair? That's interesting. I don't know why I'm recognizing that, like, right now. Yeah, this is an advancement. It's not, see, like, you're birthing something new. Like, something, it's not fully here yet. You're not in labor yet. You said, uh-uh. Yeah, look. Ace of Pentacles. And this is probably something that you might want to, like, keep to yourself. Or you're just not really telling anybody. I feel like this is something that you, either someone or something, like, you're kind of just being private about it. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling with that, with the secrecy. And I said that there was something hidden from you. So maybe that is someone else. So, ooh, this took a turn. Interesting. Things are going to get interesting. Okay, I was thinking about, I was looking in this area. I was thinking about, like, what is he doing? Yeah, this is choosing people. With the queen of wands at the bottom of the deck oh my gosh so you got one person in mind you guys like balance each other out like the look the lower chakras with the higher chakras meeting in the heart space right in the middle she's intuitive he is like a man man you know <laughs> It's passionate so yeah you're going after the passionate one so there but there's someone else that maybe this is who you're trying to like escape or whatever because this is just like a small offer or like some a small gesture and it's like eh, I'm not really not I gotta get out of that one <laughs> So yeah, you're coming out of something or, you know, take this as it applies, okay? Jeez. That's interesting. Okay. Do I leave this right here? Yeah, some of you, I feel like you're about to reunite with someone that uh, you're getting out of something and you're about to reunite with someone else that you might have had conflict with in the past, like bad, like, yeah, either you walked away or they walked away, something like that, like something ended, but I feel like something is being reborn. See, she's the, here we are with the Empress, Taurus, um, and Libra again. Someone has matured. I don't know where I'm getting that from. A bit okay so let me read this I'm gonna read these so the Aries card tells you that it's okay to push to push now but just don't push too hard Expect things to move fast for there is no time to take take it step by step. It will all be a mad jump. Maybe a time of testing your will. Okay, yeah, so this is your lead. Sorry, I didn't want to read the whole thing because I knew I was going to read Libra. Linking up with a partner will serve you best. Don't go it alone. So 
So Libra is the sign of lovers and romance, although Libra is a masculine sign. I, didn't I say this? I just talked about this. Libra and men understand women better than any other sign. When this card shows up, it indicates uh, you are riding the fence over something and you need to make a decision soon. If you do not make your decision, it may be made for you. The potential for you not liking the ending is high if you do not act and decide soon. And see, we all know that the wheel can turn in any direction. Just don't play no games. Um, this is a favorable card for romance and relationships. It indicates a time where your relationships are turning happier and more content. Right now, everything must be fair and balanced. It's important now to sacrifice your own feelings or desires simply because you hope to avoid a conflict. It will feel as if the middle approach is the smartest one right now, and this is probably right. Um, for court, courtrooms, law and fairness should play into this matter. If you are involved in a court case or the surrounding cards um, are good and the Libra card appears in the spread, it is a good indicator that the issue will work out just the way you hope. The enforcement of rules may also apply. Legal documents will not only figure in, they will bring you benefits, especially benefits shared between you and a partner. So this card also represents an impending marriage or an engagement. Relationships are about to move up to move up a level to a more serious one. Feelings have matured. Didn't I say feel somebody matured? Feelings have matured. Happiness is achieved, and when you pull your resources with a significant other, achievement will be found when you find the right person who mirrors your own ideals and beliefs. All matters worked on within sincere e and equal partnerships shall prove to be successful to the utmost. So, Gemini. That's what I have for you. I hope this is a continuation from the last one where it was like, you guys were just, you were about to get recognized for some stuff, um, work-wise. So that means a contract is coming y'all's way. I like this one. Okay, so Gemini, that's what I have for you. If this resonated, um, comment, like, share, subscribe. If you'd like to book a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. I love, love, love you, and I'll talk to you soon.